So now can products be written as differences? So Claire claims that 10 plus three times 10 minus three is equivalent to 10 squared minus three squared. And 20 plus one times 20 minus one is equivalent to 20 squared minus one squared. Do you agree? Show your reasoning. So here, let's look at this. If I did 10 plus three, I'm gonna do an area model. And then 10 minus three. So here, this would be 10 squared. And then this would be minus 30 plus 30. And then minus three times three, that would be minus three squared. So the minus 30, and this is plus 30, those cancel out. So this is 10 squared minus three squared. So the first part is correct. If I did 20 plus one times 20 minus one, again, I'm gonna write this up here. So 20 times 20 is 20 squared, minus one times 20, so minus 20, plus one times 20, plus 20, and then here minus one. So this is 20 squared minus one. So that checks out too. So this is, um, we agree, Claire is correct. So now we need to do 100 um, plus five times 100 minus five. Well, this, um, to evaluate that, we would square the first number, so 100 squared, and then if I'm doing a plus five minus five, I do minus five squared. So now to evaluate that, 100 um, squared would be one with two zeros, then times another 100, I would add two more zeros. So that ends up being 10,000. And then minus five squared is minus 25. And then uh, 10,000 minus 25 is 9,000. 975. So now to compute our, um, or to check our answer, we can compute 105 times 95. So to do that, we can just use a calculator here. So 105 times 95 is 9,975. So here, if I draw a diagram to do x, um, x plus 4 times x minus 4. So up here, we would have x and then plus 4. So here, this would be x squared and then plus 4x minus 4 times x here would be minus 4x. Minus 4 times positive 4 would be minus 16. So those would cancel out, and that would be x squared minus 16. So if I did that without a diagram, x plus 4 times x minus 4 it would be x times x, so x squared, x times negative four minus four x plus four times x would be plus four x and then plus four minus four so that would be minus four squared because four times four is four squared so it's x squared minus four squared which is equal to x squared minus 16. so is x plus four squared equal to x squared plus four squared very tempting to say yes but let's check that out. So first, x plus four squared is equal to x plus four times x plus four. So if we multiply that out, x times x is x squared plus four times x, so plus four x, plus another four x, and then plus 16. So here, four x plus four x, you have x squared, 
plus 8x, and then plus 16. So this answer here is no. So we can only do um, this when I learned it when I was a kid. We learned a plus b times a minus b is a squared and then minus b squared. So we just learned when you have that plus minus combo, you square the first number and then subtract the square of the second number.